The Big Whack presents Buffalo on the Rise, sponsored by Dr. Kaplansky Dental Implants. Get new permanent teeth in 24 hours with our exclusive Teeth Now process. Welcome to the television show devoted to local business, Buffalo on the Rise, with your host, Joe Chili. There's an entrepreneurial spirit in Western New York that's putting our area on the cusp of greatness. Each week, Buffalo on the Rise features local business leaders and decision makers who are shaping our future. If it's about local business, we'll talk about it right here, right now, during Buffalo on the Rise. I'm Joe Chilly. On this edition of The Big Whack Presents Buffalo on the Rise, are you happy with your smile? Need dental work that you've been putting off? Meet Dr. Kaplansky and find out how he can help. If you have chronic pain that you can't seem to get rid of, no matter what you take or what you do, we may have the answer. Acupuncture. Then head out on the roads and on the trails safely this season with the bike from Tom's Pro Bike. We'll get you ready to roll. All on this edition of The Big Whack Presents Buffalo on the Rise. I'm Joe Chilly. You can listen to me mornings on the Big Whack. Joining us today on the Big Whack's Buffalo on the Rise is Dr. Kaplansky. How are Hello. you today? Good. How are you, Joe? Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. You know, one of the things that I noticed when I was prepping and doing some of the research for the show itself is the fact that there are a lot of national firms. There are a lot of firms that come in now and they're advertising in it. And, and you know, I always wonder, I like to have local people that I can call on. If I have a dentist, I want to go to the same dentist all the time. I don't want to go to, you know, the myriad, the dentist of the day, right. if you will. So what sets you apart from like the national firms? Well, absolutely. So there's a big uh, move in dentistry now um, is uh, to consolidate. And basically, uh, uh, dentists are selling their practices to larger companies. They're called DSOs. And most of the uh, offices that you see out there, even though they might say doctor so-and-so, they actually are part of a huge conglomerate. Uh, and it's a big corporate uh, organization where profit is, uh, is the most important thing. So we are uh, a privately owned, uh, very personable and uh, uh, local dental office. You always see the same people uh, when you come and uh, we take good care of patients. What do you think, um, you know, you, you, we know, know that you're in Gasport, uh, and, and to some people Gasport may seem like it's a, it's a way off or whatever, but you have people from all over Western New York and Southern Ontario coming to you, right? Absolutely. Uh, so Gasport, obviously not, not the center of the universe, uh, mm. and uh, many people don't even know where it is, but the services that we provide, the process that we invented, and uh, what we do for these patients, uh, is so unique uh, that people have absolutely no problem traveling to us from Toronto, from uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, from uh, uh, even Albany. You say that you can have dental implants in less than a day. Now, is that really true? Des less than a day for dental implants? It does sound uh, sort of uh, magical, doesn't it? It does. Uh, so, uh, yes, the process is uh, really unique and uh, it uses patient's native uh, bone or native tissue, so we don't rely on grafts. And by doing that and placing implants strategically and uh, kind of uh, uh, joining them together with a prosthes pr prosthesis as a brace, we can load these implants right away and give people teeth within 24 hours. How long did it take you personally to get to the point that you are now, to the teeth now process? Well, I've been a dentist for 30 years, and I've been in practice in New York for 25 years. And it's pretty much a lifelong journey for me. And uh, every year I just get better, like that, like that wine or cheese. <laughs> That's, and there's nothing up your sleeve, right? I want to make sure we, no, we're, no, we're no, talking no. about, uh, you know, a magic here and things like that. It is a revolutionary process. Now, it, it is, you know, you talk about this happening in less than a day. Yeah. Traditionally, when we're talking about dental implants, is it something that can take weeks or a month or whatever? Traditionally, it can take months, sometimes years. So uh, let's say a person doesn't have uh, teeth anymore uh, and they have deficient bone. They have not enough bone. Uh, 
they would come to a, a doctor and they would say, well, you're either not a candidate for a procedure or you will require grafting. So grafting takes sometimes months, sometimes years. Patient doesn't have teeth all that time. They just go in toothless and they're going, undergoing grafting surgeries. Then after grafting, they would attempt to place implants. A lot of times the grafted bone isn't as strong. So the implants cannot be placed. So then you just, you already wasted uh, a whole bunch of time. You wasted uh, a bunch of money. You had no teeth all this time. And, and now you're stuck with, with the danger anyways. So a lot, of, a lot of patients experience this kind of a cycle of, uh, okay, I'm not getting anywhere with this. I just spend uh, a lot of time and money and I'm back to where I was with the danger. Now, when you're talking about dental implants, because I think of, I grew up, not that I have dentures, but I grew up in the, in the age of dentures. And there was, you know, you just see people, corn on the cob, pushing it out of right. the way. Right. Apples, pushing them out of the way. Uh, uh, caramels, pushing them out of the yeah. way. Yeah. Dental implants, can you eat all those things? You can eat anything. Uh, so uh, with dentures, you're relying on adhesive. So a lot of people buy denture glue, buy, buy a bucket literally, and, uh, and they put it in there and it comes, the denture comes loose while they're chewing. They have to reapply the adhesive a few times throughout the dinner, throughout the meal. Dental implants, the way we do it, uh, pretty much gives you a, a chewing power when we're done, when, when it, the process is all finished not only identical to natural teeth, but sometimes even stronger, even better. We measure their bite force, and uh, there's actually an appliance that can measure the bite force. And their bite force is tremendous. They can bite through anything. I think there are women in my past that really wanted me to fall asleep and then put that adhesive on my mouth so I didn't talk anymore. <laughs> I don't say that that works successfully. Some people are told that they're just not a candidate for dental implants. What's your response to that? Most of the time we say, uh, yes, you are a candidate. So the way it works again is uh, we place implants into patients' native bones. So most patients that have been told that they're not candidates, the dentist only looks at the area where the teeth would go. We go to the other areas in the face, uh, such as zygomatic areas, um, which is a cheekbone. There's an area behind the jaw on the upper called pterygoid plate. There's also areas inside the nose that can be used. There's a called transnasal implants. So we can do all these things. I'm pretty much the only dentist, uh, the only oral uh, uh, implantologist in this area that is qualified to perform these procedures. Well, for more information and answers to your questions, contact Dentistry by Dr. Kaplansky by calling 716-772-7500 or go to drkaplansky.com. Promotional and sponsorship consideration provided by the following. I'm Joe Chilly. You can listen to me mornings on The Big Whack. Joining us today on The Big Whack's Buffalo on the Rise is Jonathan McDonald, who is the owner of BAM Acupuncture. Jonathan, nice to see you today. Good to see you, Joe. Jonathan, one of the last times uh, that I saw you, I was recovering from a bike accident, and you gave me the medication that kind of helped my shoulder right. as, as, I, as I was healing, which, yeah. is a, which was a great thing. And, and, and I didn't use it all up, because you only used a little, you know, very small amount. So uh, if somebody's in some sort of pain, they can talk to you. It's not just about acupuncture. There's other things you can talk them through, right? Yeah, so at BAM, we are an integrative health clinic. Um, so obviously, we specialize in acupuncture. But we also blend in some modern integrative therapies that we incorporate into our treatments. And really what that lets us do is, um, at BAM, our goal is to provide holistic treatments to people that maybe are having trouble finding solutions at other, other places. You know? So our, our typical patient really has gone through the gambit of specialists and things like that, and they're just not finding treatments that work for them. Um, and that's the type of patient that we're able to help by complaining, combining those two therapies. It, it, do you, does it bother you if somebody says, you know, I went to BAM acupuncture as last resort, but it really worked? <laughs> no, I'm quite used to that, really? you know, being the last resort with the best results. As long as we get the best result, results, that's fine, you know. And uh, is it, do people ever think, you know, is this kind of some kind of ancient oriental secret? 
You know, is it, you know, like the hocus pocus type thing that people may think about, because uh, when you, you get so used to tra traditional medicine, right. then when you think of things, although I know a lot of people that do homeopathic things now, mm -hmm. you know, try to, try to do that, try to eat well, try to, you know, you know, their diet is important and not too many sugars, not refined things, you know, flour and things like this. But what do you tell people, you know, when they come in and they want to know what BAM acupuncture is about, you know, what do you think are the key words that are important to them? The key words that are important or to the them? key phrases, you know, the things the, the, you know, that you're trying to get out to them that you think that'll be important, the things that, the, that strike them the most. Well, I think a lot of the people that come to us uh, really have a sense of hopelessness. You know, they've tried all these Western things and um, yeah, unfortunately it is kind of like, well, I'll, you know, this needle thing sounds a little hokey, but we'll give it a try. But really, I think, really from the moment you interact with my clinic, I mean, it's very professional. You know, you come in and it's a very clean um, medical setting. Um, and I do get that sometimes. Sometimes I'll have patients come in, we'll sit down for the consult, I'll talk to them. At the end of there, like, you oh, know, boy, what a relief. I wasn't, I wasn't sure what to expect, you know. I was thinking, you know, there'd be like those little Chinese yin yang things all over the place and you'd be over here with like gongs over me and stuff like this. But no, I mean, it is a very clinical setting, um, you know, much like you would go to a doctor's office. Um, I think the difference is, you know, I will listen, you know. I will sit down and I will take the time to really understand what's going on. And that's kind of the nature of what we do. You know, I've seen patients um, that haven't gotten results at other places. So they, our patients tend to have long stories and they tend to, tend to be complicated. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that's really what sets us apart is we're professional, I know if I can help you and I'm gonna sit down and listen to, listen to your story. Uh, is neuropathy a big thing? That's probably, that is by far and away the number one reason that people call our clinic. And describe for people that don't understand, what is neuropathy? So peripheral neuropathy specifically is deterioration of the nerves in the extremities, okay? So patients that have neuropathy, typically it starts out quite minor. You know, you might notice like a little tingling or needle, pins and needles sensation. But as the nerve deteriorates, uh, symptoms get worse, you know? Um, there's a lot of different types of neuropathy. You can have like diabe diabetic neuropathy, which stems from having diabetes. Um, spinal stenosis can cause neuropathy. Um, different autoimmune conditions can lead to neuropathy. Um, so yeah, the bottom line is though, it's deterioration of the nerves and the extremity, which starts to affect your ability to navigate the world, you know. Um, I'll give you an example. So I had a patient uh, that we consulted recently. Um, he's had neuropathy for 10 years, okay. When it started out, you know, he had just retired. He wanted to travel. So he didn't really think he needed to do much about it and he could deal with it. You know, it was waking him up at night once in a while with pins and needles. Um, eventually that progressed to burning. Um, but he really didn't do anything to address it. So it's a progressive disease. So the, the kind of aha moment for him is he was on vacation with his wife and he was starting to lose sensation in his feet. His foot slipped off the brake pedal and with the rental car, he smashed into another rental car, mm. All right? And that's when he realized like, wow, this isn't something that I can just deal with on my own anymore. You know, so. is there a point, you know, you bring up a good, a good, interesting fact there. Is there a point that people might not feel the ground beneath their feet? Oh yeah, I mean, and you know, unfortunately, once it gets to that place of numbness, you know, these people in that situation often have been dealing with pain for a long time. You know, and then all of a sudden that pain starts to go away and you can't feel your legs. And you know, to you and I, that sounds like a good thing. Oh, no more pain, you can't feel your feet. <laughs> Um, but that's not a good situation at all. You know, that's, that's often the straw that breaks the camel's back that leads people to us because they realize like my balance is affected. I can't drive anymore. That's really when you, you're not only dealing with pain, but now you're having a loss of independence. You know, you're depending on other people. Um, you can't enjoy your life. You know? So it's better for people to come to you sooner rather than later. Absolutely. You know, it gets Absolutely. to the point of no return, right? I mean, you know, you, you know, you've got you if, if you've got numbness or tingling or something like that, they should come and see you. And if anybody's curious, what should they do? Just call us. You know, um, if you want to find more information, you can go to our website. We have a lot of testimonials, patients that have um, gone through treatment. And, you know, we'll describe to other patients what it's like. If you visit BAMAcupuncture.com. Um, you'll get a lot of information there. 
Um, but it's super easy to get started. You know, if you just call our office, you'll get in touch with a patient care coordinator. They'll get you set up with a consultation with me. You and I will sit down and um, we'll do a little investigative work, see exactly what's going on. Um, I'll spell out a very clear treatment plan for you and then um, we can get you going usually well, that This day. is the guy that you see. This That's right. Guy. All right, Jonathan, thank you. For more information and answers to your questions, contact BAM Acupuncture by calling 716-333-4BAM or go to bamacupuncture.com. Sponsorship and promotional considerations for the preceding segment was provided by the following. I'm Joe Chilly. You can listen to me mornings on the Big Weck. Joining us today on the Big Weck Buffalo on the Rise is Tom Lanzi. Tom is from Tom's Pro Bike, the owner of Tom's Pro Bike. How are you doing? Good. How about yourself, Joe? Good. It was raining today, so I don't imagine you rode a bike. I here, didn't right? get a chance you know, to get out today. You know, that's good. But you know what? I, I, I have to tell you, um, I managed to get out quite a bit during this winter. This was a beautiful winter. It was. It was a good, mild winter for sure. You know, did it? Uh, did it? Did you notice that in bike sales? Uh, you um, get sales during the winter too. You know, it helps a little bit. It doesn't really, you know, bring everybody in. But people start shopping earlier. Um, it allows them to get a chance to get out and test ride bikes, and that's one thing that we recommend if someone's shopping for a bike is to test ride a couple different bikes to see what really you know makes you happy. You know, uh, people modify cars. They soup them up and they do this kind of thing. Do you see people try to modify bikes? Um, yeah, they do. It's uh, basically upgrades. So they'll start out with a you know a standard or basic bike, and then they'll, they'll upgrade wheels, or maybe they want a little lighter component or maybe they want a wider gear range to help them uh, get up the hills. So yeah, pretty much the same thing. When you start talking about e-bikes, because now you see people, and when I, when I say e-bikes, I talk e-assist for me, because I think in my, this is just purely my opinion, that it should be used to assist you, not used as a motorcycle or you know like that. But I see people of all ages going by, zipping along, not stopping for stop signs, you know what I mean? Just yep. going like, you know, a bat out of you know where. And um, do you, what's like the top speed that people should be going with, you know, on, a, on an e-bike? Legally, the maximum speed on an e-bike is 28 miles an hour, and that's pedal assist. There are certain e-bikes that will have a throttle where it kind of assists you without pedaling, and those are limited at 20 miles an hour. So when you see somebody going 30, 35 miles an hour and they're not pedaling, that to me is really an electric motorcycle, and um, you know that should be um, licensed. registered, licensed. Yeah. Yes. You know that's the thing that, that bothers me when people start doing things like this, because you know municipalities or states before long they start looking, they say, hey, you know, here's an extra revenue stream, right? Yep. And, you know, yeah. and I don't want that to be the case. You know, I want people to get. You, you're supposed to be doing it for exercise. You know, although. I'm sure you know people that use them for transportation as well, right? Oh yeah, um, you know, to commute and even lately it's been popular are uh, cargo bikes. So people, um, they'll, uh, cargo bikes, an e-bike that has smaller wheels and it's designed to carry heavier weights. And I've seen people, you know, they'll have two kids strapped in and, uh, or, you know, uh, large objects and, you know, they transport them that way. I notice when you say carry heavier objects or have large objects dropped in, you kind of looked at me and smiled. So that's okay. I don't. I, I don't mind that. Uh, let's talk a little bit about Times Pro Bike itself. You know where are you located? Okay, our headquarters is on Walden Avenue in Lancaster. We have another location in um, Orchard Park on Orchard Park Road, right near Five Corners, and then we also have a location in Victor, New York. Um, so we're we're all around. It seems to me that biking, cycling, you know, seems to be more popular than ever right now. Have you noticed an upswing? Absolutely. In the past, past 10, 15 years, a lot more people have gotten into it um, for recreation, um, for health, and it really bumped up um, during the pandemic. And we've seen a little decline after that, but um, it brought a lot of new people into cycling and uh, a lot of people to stay for cycling. Give me an idea now, you know, when, when I ride, my bike seat is right. relatively comfortable. I think it's probably a gel seat to a certain degree, right? Right. Should your seat be comfortable or should it not be comfortable? 
it should definitely be comfortable. And there's a wide range of um, different saddles or seats, and they're designed for different type of bikes. So the more upright you sit, you want a little wider seat to get more support. If you see sometimes um, little skinny seats on the racing bikes, mm -hmm. believe it or not, those are comfortable, um, but also that rider generally has a lot of miles underneath them, and they kind of get conditioned to it. What about clothes, clothing, uh, you know, uh shorts that are padded or pants that are padded that makes a huge difference absolutely really um, they have the padding in the right areas and basically just cushions it and uh, makes a big difference you know so I, I guess i guess you should there's there's something that you could modify right the seat of the bike uh you know and and when they come in to see you don't you kind of size them up and kind of fit the bike to an individual yes we do um, bikes will come in a variety of sizes um, as opposed to department stores where one size fits everybody, which doesn't. Um, so there's different size bikes, there's different size saddles. Um, saddles will come in different widths. Um, so every bike that we sell, we put the rider on a trainer, watch him pedal, and we have a scientific method to fit that bike to the rider. We'll adjust the seat height, the position of the saddle, the reach, um, even the width of the handlebars. And even uh, when people are uh, on a bike actually pedaling, isn't there, you know, your leg shouldn't be fully extended? It should have a little bit of a bend in it? Is it should, uh, when your crank arm is at six o'clock, all the way down, you should have a slight bend in your knee. All right. Uh, your website? Tomsprobike.com. Phone number to reach you folks? 716-651-9995. And now's the time. Yep. Now's the time to get yourself it's a bike. season, yeah. That's exactly right. For more information and answers to your questions, contact Tom's Pro Bike by calling 716-651-9995 or go to tomsprobike.com. Sponsorship and promotional consideration for the preceding segment provided by the following. Thanks for watching this edition of The Big Whack Presents Buffalo on the Rise. For information on this and other shows, go to our website, bigwack.com, and find out how you can participate on the program if you're a hometown business. I'm Joe Chilly. Thanks for watching and listening to The Big Whack, Buffalo's oldie station. The Big Whack presents Buffalo on the Rise was sponsored by Dr. Kaplansky Dental Implants. Get new permanent teeth in 24 hours with our exclusive Teeth Now process.